Soil acidity is a problem um, for large, large areas of Australian cropping country. Most of the work we've been doing has been in South Australia and, and in southern Victoria and also in southern New South Wales. We're going down the path of managing lime variably because it's a, it's a critical factor for crop nutrition. We know there's a very good relationship between pH and um, nutrient availability. We know that it's an easy thing we can measure and so precision ag often starts with, with managing um, soil ameliorants like pH, uh, or well, soil acidity and sodicity. So variable rate lime is a, um, a good natural starting point. Yeah, the soil sampling we do is on a grid. So we do a one hectare grid across the paddock um, and that's on a planned grid through the program that we use. And so we map that out before we get to the paddock and we go and take one, one pH sample at each of that one hectare grid points. Satellite imagery linking in with, with other spatial data sets is really important. So we've, we do a lot of work with understanding other, other data sets and, and looking for relationships between the NDVI or the biomass um, maps we can produce through satellite imagery and, and pH maps and also yield maps. So we definitely want to look for relationships between these, these um, constraints that we can identify and see if there is, they are actually having an impact on plants. So we know there might be poor biomass, but we don't understand why in some cases. So we can use this to look for that relationship to say, maybe there's low biomass and there is a relationship with pH. About 12 months ago, we purchased the first Verus soil pH detector and it enables us to rapidly test paddocks and produce zones of high and low pH. And so then once we've got the zones, we'll then go and do some strategic soil samples in those areas, Nort's 10 soil tests. Um, and send that away to a lab and then get the full, full soil test and convert those, um, that information into a lime prescription map. We would then get the farmer to work with their agronomist to look at the results from the laboratory, to analyse the information and, and determine the final lime application rates. It varies from paddock to paddock. Um, most paddocks are around um, 15 to 25% saving in lime, but we have had examples where we've had up to 85% saving in lime. Managing soil acidity through variable rate lime spreading is a fantastic starting point for precision ag. Uh, we know from the mapping we've been doing over the last two years that the return on investment is very high. And if we can achieve a 10% saving on a lime, we can, we can pay for variable rate lime um, in straight away. And there's been very few cases where we haven't been able to have immediate um, reductions of, of, of input cost in lime.